Hi everyone. Today we're going to study normal form of the straight line. In this video, we're going to reduce the general form of the straight line to normal form. We know that the general form is ax plus by equals c. In reducing this to normal form, the step one is we're going to compute for plus or minus the square root of a square. Take note that this a is the coefficient of x plus b square and this b is the coefficient of y. We're going to use positive or negative depending on the sign of b. If b is positive, we're going to use positive, while negative if b is negative. For step 2, this is the normal form. It means to say, this ax is the variable x here, and divided by the value that we did from step 1, plus by, this is our by, divided by the same value that we computed from step 1, equals the constant c over the same value that we computed from step 1. Now, take note that this right side value here, this is the perpendicular distance of the line from the origin. Let us have some examples. This is example 1. Reduce 4x plus 3y equals 15 into its normal form and find the distance of the line from the origin. Draw the line. For our solution, our step 1 is to compute this value, plus or minus the square root of a square plus b square. Getting the corresponding values, we have plus or minus the square root of, our a here is 4, so we have 4 square plus our b is 3, so we have here 3 square. Simplifying further, the 4 square is 16 plus 3 square is 9. So this square root of 16 plus 9 is 25. Simplifying this, we have positive 5. Take note, we're going to use positive here because the b, which is 3, is also positive. Now, we're going to use the normal form, and our formula is here. Substituting the corresponding values, we have now 4x all over 5. Again, this 5 comes from the value that we derive from step 1. And then plus, the by is this 3y over 5 equals this constant 15 all over 5. We can simplify this 15 over 5 into 3. So this value here means the line is of distance 3 units from the origin. And because this is positive, we say that the line is above the origin. We can simplify this line by multiplying by 5, and this is now simplified into 4x plus 3y equals 15. Let us draw this line using GeoGebra. We have this line now. This is the line 
4x plus 3y equals 15. This is the origin here. We can see here that the line is 3 units above the origin. This is our final answer. Let's have example 2. Find the equation of the line parallel to 4x minus 3y equals 7 and passing 4 from the point 1, negative 2. For our solution, the step 1 is, we write here, the equation of the lines parallel to this given line for x minus 3y equals 7 is this, for x minus 3y equals k. We want to solve this k. For step 2, for the line to pass through the point 1, negative 2, we substitute x equals 1 and y equals negative 2. So we have this 4x becomes 4 times 1 minus 3y now becomes 3 times negative 2 equals k. Simplifying further, 4 times 1 is 4. Then this negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. 4 plus 6 is simply 10. So the value of k is 10. For step 3, we will substitute the k value as 10 to equation 1. So we have now 4x minus 3y equals 10. This equation of the line is parallel to this given line and passing to the point 1, negative 2. Now, we are going to reduce this to normal form. We start by taking this value, the plus or minus, the square root of a square plus b square. Getting the corresponding values, we have now plus or minus the square root of 4 square plus the square of negative 3. To simplify, the 4 square is 16 and this square of negative 3 is positive 9. Now, for the plus or minus, we choose here negative because the value of b here is negative 3. So, the sign conforms to that b. So, 16 plus 9 is 25. So, we have here negative square root of 25 and the value is negative 5. Now, for the normal form equation, we have here, let us now collect the corresponding values. So we have here 4x over negative 5 and then minus the 3y over negative 5 equals this 10 over negative 5. Simplifying further, we have now this negative 4x over 5. This minus and negative 5 becomes positive 3y over 5 equals 10 over negative 5 is negative 2. We can say that this line is 2 units below the origin. But for our step 5, the desired equation is of distance 4 from the line of step 4. So we're going to copy this equation, but we're going to add negative 4. So when we simplify this negative 2 plus negative 4, we have now negative 6. Let us simplify this equation. We will multiply by negative 5. So we have now 4x 
minus 3y equals 30. This is our final equation of the line. Now, we are going to draw the line. Using GeoGebra, this is now the graph of the line. The 4x minus 3y equals 30. The given point here, 1, negative 2, is here. So, from this point and the line, there is a distance of 4. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.